we're going to explain how to fast forward in the Citra emulator. One, first, make sure you have the Citra emulator installed and a three deciseconds ROM loaded that you want to speed up. Two, the primary method for fast forwarding involves using the keyboard shortcuts. The default shortcut is usually the right shift key, though this can be changed in the emulator's settings. Just hold down the right shift key while the game is running. The speed at which the game runs forward will usually depend on your computer's processing power. A more powerful computer will likely handle higher fast forward speeds more smoothly. Three, you can adjust the fast forward speed in Citrus settings, found usually under emulation or a similar menu. The exact location might vary slightly depending on your Citra version. Look for options like speed multiplier or similar settings to increase or decrease the speed. Experiment to find a comfortable level. Too high a speed might make the game unstable or difficult to play. Four, if keyboard shortcuts aren't working, Citra might be configured to disable them. Check the emulator's controls or input settings to ensure that keyboard shortcuts are enabled. Five, if you're using a controller, Citra allows for custom controller mappings. You can map a button on your controller to act as a fast forward function, which mirrors the actions of the shift key. This will allow you to fast forward conveniently without needing to use your keyboard. The process of creating custom controller mappings is usually found in the controller settings section of Citra. Six, remember, fast forwarding might not work perfectly with all games. Some games might experience glitches or instability when fast forwarded, especially at very high speeds. If you encounter issues, try reducing the fast forward speed or disable the feature. Seven, finally, Keep in mind that fast forwarding heavily utilizes your computer's resources. If your computer isn't powerful enough, the fast forward function may result in stuttering, lag, or even crashes. If this occurs, you might need to reduce the speed or lower the game's in-game graphics settings within the emulator to improve performance.